Okay, uh, in this video, what we're going to be doing now is creating new polygons, and we'll be doing this twice, two different ways. Uh, the first one we're going to do is what we would call uh, using a shared edge, and the one that I'm going to show you now is using a shared edge within a single feature class. This is also possible between feature classes. So again, specifically what I want you to be able to do is we're going to be going in and we're going to create the new shoreline uh, in that area of Erie County so it's coincident with the lakefront. And then you're going to create another polygon uh, that abuts that, that is the shape of Presque Isle. Okay, and so let's get started. All right, so here we are, we're looking at Presque Isle, and you'll notice how off the county boundary was. What I want to do now is for this area of interest, I want to go in here and I want to create a new polygon that follows this more accurately. Now again, I'm going to do this fairly quickly. I expect you to do a better job, take a little more time at home. But again, what we're going to be doing now, we're in, we're going to remember we check our editing mode. Yep, PA counties are available for editing. Click on the edit tab. And in this case, we're going to be doing it again, make sure your snapping is on. And in this case, we're going to be doing a create option. And we're going to be working in PA counties. That's the only one available for editing. And in this case, though, what we're going to be using is this tool right here, which is what we call the autocomplete. Autocomplete is used when you want one polygon to connect to the adjacent polygon with no, in a sense, gaps in it. And so we're going to click on that tool. And the important thing that you need to do is you need to start so that you are adjacent or you're touching and you need to have the snapping icon come up. And so I'm going to do that right here. And now what I can do is simply begin to click points carefully along the edge, following it a little bit better. See, I'm going to skip over a little bit of this. Is, I don't want to take too much time doing this. But you'll notice that, again, I'm roughly following this. This is, again, one of the major complaints that people have about Arc Pro is that in Arc Map, we would do this part of it in a streaming mode so that we have a smoother line. Now, again, I get here so that I see the PA County's vertex, and I double-click. And now you'll notice that I've created a new polygon that essentially follows that edge. Okay, so... We've done that, we're happy with it, we accept that edit, we finish it. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to ask you to, and again I'm going to move my map down a little bit. Now I want to do the same thing following the edge of Presque Isle. And again, I'm going to start this one. I'm not going to do a very careful job of it uh, because I don't want to waste the time on it. But again, this is the main idea. Again, we're going to use an autocomplete here. And again, we're going to make sure that we are on the edge. Click. And then what I would like you to do again is to follow along. And as you can see, I'm doing this very, very quickly. I'd like you to spend more time doing this. Um, but we're going to follow this edge. And again, as I said, I'm doing it fairly quickly. Now, I want to point out what just happened. You notice if I get too close to this, my snapping tolerance means that if I get too close, it gives me that. And if I, I have to make sure that I don't connect those. So you need to be careful with your editing. And we could have adjusted our, I have my stapping tolerance set pretty coarsely. And so that's gonna be one of the issues, of course. And so again, follow along. And we'll go all the way back down now here and double click. And now I have my polygon. And again, I'm going to click and I'm going to save. So now we've created two polygons that share edges with existing polygons. In the next uh, video, I'm going to show you then how to deal with creating free floating polygons. And we'll also be dealing with merging. 